happening YouTube, it's your Shirley Rock Combo, aka the Professor on the Sticks. I'm running the running gun guide on offense and our 49ers on defense. Uh, looks like we got a little PA in around from the iForm. Uh, what, what is that? iForm Pro, I think it was. Um, and I'm, I will be running the route swapped end around. Um, and it is, it is pretty deadly. I like to go back and forth between route swapping and running regular. Uh, I feel like that the route, route on the right side of the screen, whenever you, you route swap it, uh, isn't as fast as if you run the um, PA in around the regular and you just throw that quick pass out to the left. On the right side, for whatever reason, I don't feel like it's as quick, but that's just kind of my opinion. As we pick up a fourth and one, and now we come out in the five wide, hit him up with a nice little drag route to Demarius Thomas, and we're back in the in the bunch, and we got the spec catch as well out of there. So overall, you know, people always just say, and I always see, see my comments, oh, you're running end around, yada, yada. First, I run it different than anybody else. Um, well, you know, the turf team, we, we run it different. And uh, we also have different plays we mix in, and it's a complete scheme. It's not like we just running some one random, you know, glitchy play. You know, we have a whole scheme around it, and that's the kind of stuff you can respect. If you're playing top-level players, um, you know, they're going to have stuff that's very effective and overpowered in the game. That's just kind of the nature of it. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's always counters to things. There's nothing that you can't really counter. You know, even lob streaks, you can kind of, you know, you just have to, as uh, you're going to see later on, it can be difficult. You know, you just have to, you know, find different counters to it. All right, so then we hit them up in the flats with Ditka. Uh, that's kind of just my take on it. I don't know. If, if The only thing I think is considered glitching the game is whenever, if you, like, get an automatic sack whenever uh, your opponent hikes the ball or you're, um, you know, you're booting people and, and crap like that. But other than that, like, it's all, you know, it's all fair, fair in game, and you just have to make the proper adjustments on offense and defense. And that's my favorite part about Madden. But anyways, uh, we come back out in the five wide, him up with a little, a little baby in route, and then the baby in route from I think this is, that was wide corner that play I ran, um, and he was just able to walk into the end zone. So kind of when I got down into the red zone, I've been hitting him with a lot of five wide, mixing it up, uh, kind of keeping my opponent off balance. And he's been trying to lob streak me, and I finally been able to get the interception with Calvin Johnson. Uh, he, he's a monster at safety. I know all, all these cars that came out with the 4th of July were just insane. These these cars are just getting ridiculous. But here's game two after my opponent quit out. This game I actually already posted about a month ago. I was on a 16-game win streak or something like that. And this guy, to me, is a complete cheeser. Somebody who does not have a scheme. You're going to see when he comes out on offense. It is just a cheesy lob streak and where he doesn't have some type of pump fake glitch. Annoying as hell. So you're gonna you have to uh, click in the description. I'll have the link to that to that game. You have to see if I'm gonna able to pull out a win or if he's gonna kind of cheese me completely to death. Where it's not really a scheme. He's just doing some type of right here. Look that look at that pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and then lob it up for the streak. So definitely click that link in the description below. Be sure to mash that like button and hit me up in the comment section as well. I love having conversations with y'all, and we will see you on the sticks.